Hey guys, this video is going to be pretty interesting because I have a lot to say, so if you want to skip this part, skip this very long intro, I highly suggest it. So basically, what I want to say about this video, this video is going to be semi-tutorial-esque, but what I really wanted to talk about the most in this video is the fact about going on a first date is very exciting, but you get very nervous and, and very, um, you know, you kind of start to doubt yourself, especially if you're a plus size woman like me. I get very nervous and I almost get to the point where I just, you know, throw up my hands and say, I don't want to go. I feel gross. I feel like I look so ugly. And no, that's not how you're supposed to be going into a first date. I know that. But so that's why I wanted to do this video because I want I want to express to you guys how important it is to be very confident in yourself and to do things on a first date that make you feel very beautiful. So um, this isn't technically a tutorial because I would want a friend of mine to go onto a first date and feel very beautiful and confident and not because of something what somebody else said they have to wear on a date but because of something that would emphasize a part of their facial features that they really love. So I really do love my eyes so that's why I chose to do this makeup and I do wear this pretty much on a first date. Well, it's a very natural yet smoky look. It really showcases my eyes which is what I love to wear and then I feel very sexy and flirty when I have curly wavy hair so that's what I did. I did kind of a tutorial, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to my hair. If you want more of a detailed tutorial, I would highly suggest not to watch this video with the hair on the hair part because there's really nothing I do special. Um, I pretty much learned how to do this from YouTube. So yeah, it's really not that special. So basically, that's kind of what I wanted to get across to everybody watching this video is it does not matter what I say you should do in this video. It does not matter what I'm putting on my face. It only matters is if it's going to help you feel confident, help you feel beautiful, help you feel sexy, and go on to this date and really just enjoy it and not worry about anything other than enjoying the other person that you're with and selling yourself. Let's be honest, everybody does it. Trust me, even I do it, I'm pretty sure. I make myself seem way cooler than I actually am because I'm not. I'm a loser. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gives you any tips or tricks that you like and that you will feel confident about. So definitely keep on watching if you are interested to see how I did this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, here it is. Bye. To make sure that my makeup is going to last throughout the entire day, I like to use a primer that not only makes my skin look good, but it will also make sure that my makeup lasts all night, and that's definitely what I'm looking for. I like to use the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Oh, this is just amazing. I'm almost out of it, but I bought another one. <laughs> I'm just taking not that much, about a pea size. I put it where I have a lot of large pores, which is here on my cheeks and on my forehead and then I just kind of disperse it everywhere else and it works really good under my eyes as like kind of a fine line eraser also so that helps. I like to work on my eyes first so I'm going to go ahead and start with that and basically when I go on a date I like to feel very confident and pretty. So I want to make my eyes stand out. I'm just gonna do something very simple and easy that is still going to make my eyes stand out the most. And so I'm gonna be taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Next I'm just gonna take some of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to pat that along the mobile lid. It's just gonna to help to make that eyeshadow stand out a little bit more. Cause it's gonna be a very neutral look. For my highlight I'm using Wet n Wild's Brulee and I'm just going to be placing that with an e.l.f. angled contour brush and I'm just packing it right under the eyebrow. Now I'm going to zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. There's my chinchilla! Hi chinchilla! Next I'm going to be taking MAC Soft Brown with the MAC 224 and I'm just going to be buffing this kind of all over the crease and just kind of everywhere 
It's going to be the transition color, but it's also going to act as a very good blending base just to help everything kind of blend all together. There's really no need to be very neat. You, just, you can be as sloppy as you want. You just want to make sure that it is actually blended out. Next, for a little more precise crease definition color, I'm using Max Wedge, and I'm also going to be using the Japanesque 836. You could also use the Mac 217 for this as well. It's pretty much the same exact brush. And I'm just going to be buffing this in the outer corner. Just as the brush is beginning to lose the product, I'm going to bring it slowly into the crease. But you just want to be very slow and cautious with this. You don't want to bring too much of the color up on the lid. I didn't pick up any more product, but I'm just going back over with the 224 and just going over wedge just to kind of blend it out. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more and go right into that crease. If you want to add even more precise and definition to this, you can by just adding a little bit more dark brown, just very slightly in the inner corner, but I'm going to be adding some like smudged, smoky brown eyeliner, so I'm not going to go too far with the crease. But now I'm just going to add my lid color, which I'm going to be mixing two shadows together. I'm going to be mixing Booty Call and Foxy together, which is just going to give kind of a shimmery pale color and I'm just going to be packing it on my lid with the Japanesque 236. And I'm just going over with the MAC 224. I'm not picking up any color, but I am just using it to blend out the edges. If you would like to add some winged eyeliner or no eyeliner at all, that's completely up to you. I like the look of a smoky, dark brown kind of eyeliner, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'm going to be using this dark brown that is in the Vanity Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to use my MAC 212 to just put a very thin line right against the lashes. And then to smudge out that line, I'm going to use my e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm just going to go back and forth against that line just to kind of blend it out. Then going in with the 212 again, I'm just going right against that lash line just to kind of deepen up the color and to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just kind of going back and forth to make sure that it's still smudged out, but it's also still very deep and dark. I don't know what my neighbor is doing. I don't know. Huge blow dry. I'm just gonna talk over him. Of course he stops when I'm gonna be talking. Oh, don't mind that noise in the background. I live in an apartment complex. I can't control my neighbors. Sorry. But next, I'm going to be working on the lower lash line and it's going to be pretty much the same thing that I did on the lid except for the lid color because I just want it to be the browns. First, I'm going to be placing the soft brown all along the lash line and then same with wedge. I'm going to take some of the NYX black eyeliner and just put it right on the outer edge. And then I'm gonna grab the MAC 212 and that dark brown and pack the dark brown right on top of the eyeliner. And if you have very sensitive eyes, I do not suggest to do this because it will get eyeshadow in your eye and it'll just irritate you and bother you. So if you're gonna be trying this step, then definitely give it a try. 
a couple of days before your date just to see how it feels and to get used to it if you really want to try it. It does make your eyeliner last pretty much all night. That's why I do it. So just make sure that you test it out before you go on the date. And then I'm just taking the smudge brush with a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow and just kind of smudging everything all together. That's pretty much it for eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes Mascara as well as the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. This combination is pretty much fantastic and amazing and I love it. It's just the best. Before I forget, I'm going to tight line with the same NYX black eyeliner. I have been forgetting to do this lately. So the eye makeup is pretty much done, but I will be coming back to it to just put some mascara on the lower lash line, but that's after I finish concealer and powder and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to apply my foundation and concealer next off camera. So I have my Naked Skin Foundation, my Naked Skin Concealer, and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, so I'm just going to do that very quickly. I have the concealer and foundation on. I'm going to set the concealer with the Naked Skin Powder. Now to go back to the eyes, since I have the concealer on, it kind of wipes away a little bit of the eyeshadow that I put on earlier. So I'm just taking the smudge brush, just with a little bit of that dark brown eyeshadow, just to kind of smudge everything out. And then I'm going to do one more coat of the Maybelline Falsies, and then apply the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara on my lower lashes. Next I'm going to do my blush contouring and highlighting. I'm using my NYC bronzing powder in Sunny. For my blush I'm going into this e.l.f. palette. This is like the 50 piece holiday palette or something. And I'm mixing these two blushes here. It gives like a very nice pink kind of baby doll light natural flush to my cheek. And for my highlight I'm going to be using the e.l.f. golden bronzer. Just this one right here. So I'm going to go do that really quickly. To set all of that, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. This is very long lasting. I very rarely have to do any touch ups when I use this powder. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm just using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Blonde, I think, yeah, in Blonde. And I'm just going to do that quickly. For lips, I like to keep it pretty natural and I don't like to be wearing lipstick too often. So I just slap on some Burt's Bees and I'm good to go. So that's pretty much all the makeup. And now I'm going to take you guys into my bathroom to show you how I do my hair. So I saved a good chunk of hair on my left side. A couple things that I use to make this last pretty much all night. I always make sure that I've washed my hair two days before because I have pretty long and thick hair so I can go pretty much two or three days without washing it and it won't really get too greasy so but even if it does I still manage to use a dry shampoo this is the Batiste dry shampoo this is for blondes <laughs> because I used to have blonde hair so uh, but this is the only one I have so I just go section by section I go right to the crown of my hair and I spray that. Then I just move my fingers around. And I brush it out. To hold the curls pretty much all night, um, my hair has terrible volume so I will probably lose these curls in about an hour, <laughs> but it still holds it pretty well. I just, I just use the Suave uh, Extreme Hold Hairspray. Um, I've used this pretty much all the time. I try not to do anything too fancy when it comes to hair products. I very rarely do anything special with my hair. But anytime I do want to do something that makes me feel sexy and confident, it, this is what I'll do. I'll do just wavy hair. I like to call it my mermaid hair. The way I do this wavy hair look. I am not specific at all about the amount of chunks of hair that I use. It's so random and very like weird the way I do it. I don't really care about the the curl size. It just doesn't bother me if it's like a small curl or a big curl because to me it just all kind of meshes together. So I don't really 
pay too much attention to it. So I have a Revlon one and a half inch barrel and I just wrap my hair around. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and I'm going to speed this up and make it look really fun and exciting when it's really not. Now that I finished pretty much all of that section of hair, I'm going to work from the bottom first. And the reason why I work from the bottom first is because the top curls are still cooling. So I want them to have a chance to kind of take their shape and their form before I mess them up. I'm just running my fingers through and I'm just creating that wavy look. Now I'm gonna move through the top portion As far as the way I style my hair when it's like this, I like to have my part to the side because I have always had my part to the side for the longest time. I don't even remember last time I had like a full on straight down the middle part. There we go. That is way better. This part is really up to your taste and what you like to see with your hair. I like it to be very wavy, but like I said, I will probably lose these curls in about an hour. So, uh, yeah. And that's, that's pretty much it. I will show you guys what it looks like from the back. That's pretty much it for the hair tutorial, so now I'm going to head back into my room. I'm sorry about the lighting right now, but since I took so long to do my hair, I lost all of the lighting. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to just be confident, be yourself, and have fun on your date. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye! Love you guys.